Hello all, I'm Dr. Maunika Esvi from Spursh Hospital in Fentry Road. You might have heard about a viral fever which is happening everywhere around you. And here we are today with our expertise to know much in detail about this umbrella term, viral fever. Today we have Dr. Ambana Gauda, General Physician at our branch, Spursh Hospital Infantry, and Dr. Pooja Pillai, who is another consultant at Spursh Hospital Infantry Road. Welcome sir and welcome ma'am. So how long does this viral fever last sir? So as we discussed, it may last for a few days, for a few weeks, but as uh, sometimes if the viral load is more or the uh, infection is for the second time, as in like in dengue, the persist, fever may persist beyond two weeks also. And ma'am, is there any vaccination for this viral fever ma'am? So yes, there are uh, various vaccines available in the market, especially uh, for uh, infections like influenza, we have the flu vaccines which you know we suggest to take annually, especially in uh, uh, immunocompromised people with multiple comorbidities such as you know diabetes, hypertension, underlying cardiac issues, uh, respiratory diseases, patients uh, who are very young or very elderly, you know, 65 plus above, we uh, advise them to take uh, annual flu shots to prevent uh, influenza infections. Um, there are various other uh, vaccines available for like, uh, you know, herpes zoster uh, or even the uh, varicella, chicken pox vaccines. Many vaccines are available in the market and a few are under trial also. Like for example, dengue vaccines are still not uh, available, but many trials are uh, going on in the research. So, how can we prevent to get this viral fever, sir? Okay, to prevent uh, viral infection, simple hand hygiene would do. Uh, keeping distance from the person at home or at the office place wherein you know who is infected and uh, preferably using a basic mask, anything if there is, you know, a person is having cough, severe sneezing, all those things. Hydrating well and uh, taking good care of oneself uh, would help, you know, in managing uh, taking care of a person from viral fever. And ma'am, how can we get to know like this is the time we have to seek for a medical help? So, uh, like I said, in already, you know, uh, any fever lasting for more than uh, four to five days, or uh, uh, a patient having uh, bleeding complications or patients uh, having uh, 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 you know, altered sensorium. These are all uh, immediate warning signs and you need to uh, immediately uh, get to your doctor and get assessed and treated. And if required, hospitalization must be considered. Thank you sir and thank you ma'am for sharing your knowledge with us. And thank you all for being with us. And uh, I hope like me, you are carrying the details and the knowledge from our expertise about the viral fever. Make sure you follow up the same routines as how they have mentioned and take care of yourself. And anything as such, you can surely visit our Spursh Hospital and you are with a good hands. Thank you.